Hey friend, Jeff Coins here. Um, I just finished a personal retreat, uh, a day-long planning session for 2018 where I uh, rented out an Airbnb. You can kind of see it here. It's just kind of fun. Got art on the wall and stuff. Uh, I've got some music playing behind me. I'm in downtown Franklin, uh, which is by where I live. I rented out a little space for the day. Christmas tree behind me, um, to dream and pray and come up with a vision for uh, this new year. And I went through Michael Hyatt's Best Year Ever program. I know a lot of you are familiar with that. And I'm sending this as a special message to you, uh, those of you who've gone through the Best Year Ever program, to encourage you to sign up this year. Uh, the curriculum is better than it's ever been. And uh, to just give you kind of a, a couple of, I don't know, challenges to make this next year your best year ever. And I just want to be a little bit vulnerable with you. So last year was the first year that I went all in on goal setting and uh, really thinking through all of the different areas of my life from finance to spiritual life to emotional life, marriage, relationships, vocational, all that stuff. And uh, there were some areas that I really struggled with. There were some things that I set out to do that I didn't achieve and I was disappointed with. And, and it's kind of a hard thing to admit when on the outside, you know, a lot of people probably view me as successful. And on the inside, I realized there are some major areas of my life that need some work. And so for the past day, I've just been reflecting on that, uh, thinking, praying, uh, journaling, um, and it's been a really good thing. So I would encourage you to do that as well. I don't know what 2017 looked like for you, uh, but I think one of the biggest challenges of goal setting is recovering from disappointment. And I've spent most of the day just going, okay, like here are the things that went well, here are the things that didn't go well. I celebrated, reflected, grieved a little bit uh, for, of the things that um, could have been better. And uh, I just want to encourage you to spend some time this holiday season uh, really thinking about what matters most to you, dreaming about what would be possible if you could really design next year the way that you want it to look. And, um, you know, I really believe that our biggest blocks are ourselves and uh, in our own limitations, our own limiting beliefs, things we think are possible. I like to say, if you think you can't, you won't. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of working with that myself, like rewiring some things that I think I could do this. It's not possible. And uh, just going, just dreaming, going, what if my life looked like this? What if I got into the best shape of my life? What if I um, didn't, like when I went to work, I only did the things that I wanted to do. And uh, what if my marriage was better than ever? And so I just want to challenge you to dream a little bit with me. Uh, I would highly encourage you to join me in doing a another year of Best Year Ever. Uh, I know my friend Michael Hyatt has a webinar and uh, the, a brand new version of the course that I would highly recommend. But I just wanted to send this note to you, encourage you to um, take this next year seriously, regardless of what this past year looked like. Take 2018 seriously. I'm sending this as a special message to you. This is not going on my blog or anywhere else. Um, I was just thinking of you, and as I finish up this retreat, uh, I want to encourage you to uh, invest in yourself over the next few weeks. Find a little bit of time to uh, go through best year ever, uh, write out your goals, and highly, highly encourage you to, um, to do that. Uh, I do want to invite you, if you do sign up for Best Year Ever, I'm going to create a private Facebook group just for people who sign up uh, for that through uh, my link, which I'll, I'll provide. And um, and we're just going to kind of walk through that together. We've got some bonuses, including a course on how to write a book, for those of you interested in doing that. Uh, but I just want to kind of openly share my process of pursuing goals, how I deal with disappointments, frustrations. And so we're going to create a private uh, Facebook group uh, as just a way of connecting uh, over the year and you'll have access to me and, and to each other so I just want to encourage you to sign up for that um, anyway uh, I hope 2017 has been good to you and, and regardless of what this year has held I hope that you can find something to be grateful for and uh, I would love to I would love for you to join me in 2018 in making this your best year ever 
And if there's anything I can do to help with that, I'd, I'd love to know. Just send me a reply to this email. Again, just a special message just to you. This is going out to a small group of people. Uh, I wanted you to know I was thinking of you. I'd love to hear what this past year has been like for you and what you're dreaming of for 2018. And I'm going to finish up my time here. Uh, it's been a, a good day. I've had some charcuterie. I'm listening to ambient music, which is kind of my love language. Uh, I've got like, you know, candle, uh, candles in the background. It's been a really good day. And I would encourage you to find some time in your schedule to do the same. Uh, just step away from the commitments and responsibilities and obligations and find a little bit of time to invest in yourself. It's been really good for me and for my soul to just make this investment, think about the past year and dream about the next year. So uh, I am, I, I have no question in my mind that the best is yet to come for me and also for you. And I look forward to seeing what 2018 holds for you. Uh, let's stay in touch. Uh, shoot me a reply to this email. Let me know if there's anything that encouraged you about this and if you're struggling with anything. And again, I hope you'll enjoy, I hope you'll join me in making this your best year ever.